So many heroes, so much drama. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for another top 10 controversial moments in superhero movies. You're all too weak to see the truth. Well, I believe in truth. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at even more moments in superhero flicks that either deviated from the source material or were poorly received by fans and critics in their own right. If you don't see a moment that you think should be on here, be sure to check out our first video on the topic. Ghost! Number 10. Behold. Jokes. Thor Ragnarok. Behold. My stuff. The third Thor film features a marked departure in tone from the previous two installments in the series, with brighter colors, more action, and a greater emphasis on humor. However, there are those who feel that the last of these is to the film's detriment. The jokes are so frequent that they tend to interrupt or distract from the touching scenes, as well as action set pieces, cutting the tension or emotional resonance of the moments. Thor Ragnarok is a fun and funny film, but admittedly, with a little tweaking, it could have been more impactful. I will tower over the mountains and bury my sword deep in Asgard. Oh, hang on. Give it a second. Number 9. Superman's Fake Mouth. Justice League. It's meant to wind like a river. Speaking of things that could have used some tweaking, Justice League was plagued by issues behind the scenes, but the most obvious symptom of this was Superman's mouth. The film required extensive reshoots, but unfortunately, actor Henry Cavill was contracted for another movie by that time, and Paramount insisted that he keep the facial hair. The effects team was therefore forced to make the stash disappear, causing Superman's mouth to look creepy and or inhuman in many shots. The internet subsequently had a field day with this. The fact that the film wasn't delayed to make his mouth and other effects look better also ties into rumors that Warner Bros. executives rushed the film out to keep their bonuses. Well, I knew you didn't bring me back because you like me. Number 8. Bane's Death. The Dark Knight Rises. We both know that I have to kill you now. Bane is a much-loved member of Batman's rogues gallery, and his major role in the third part of the Dark Knight trilogy was largely a success for the villain. He proved himself to be a formidable and imposing figure, even in Nolan's more grounded Gotham. Unfortunately, the movie's conclusion undermined much of what had succeeded earlier in the film. Firstly, Bane is revealed to not be the mastermind behind the film's events, instead working for Talia al Ghul, robbing his character of his famed intelligence. But more significantly, after a final confrontation with Batman, Bane is unceremoniously shot by Catwoman, which many felt was a poor conclusion to the villain's life. About the whole no guns thing, I'm not sure I feel as strongly about it as you do. Number 7. Elevator Improv Beatbox – Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles MC Mikey The premise of this long-running franchise has always been odd, but it always made sense in its own wonderfully weird way. Unfortunately, the 2014 live-action film felt tonally off. One of the more controversial and memorable scenes in the first film of the reboot sees the four Teenage Turtles, led by Michelangelo, begin beatboxing while riding in an elevator. <laughs> Although some felt the scene adds some levity to the film and is in keeping with their characters, given that they're teenagers, others felt that the scene was random and forced. Even the Ninja Turtles cartoon at the time took a shot at the offending scene. Number 6. The Prologue Slash Bat Sex Batman – The Killing Joke I thought we were partners. We are. The opening 20 minutes or so of this comic book adaptation features an expanded emphasis on Barbara Gordon, aka Batgirl. During the course of the events depicted, Barbara is shown kissing Bruce Wayne slash Batman and it's implied she has sex with him. Besides not being accurate with the Killing Joke comic, Swaths of fans felt this was antithetical to the father-daughter relationship the characters shared, and just plain gross, since Barbara is also Batman's friend Commissioner Gordon's daughter. Of course, a bat-cestral relationship wouldn't be the worst controversy to plague the Dark Knight in 2016. More on that later. We're done here. You're off the case. No, this isn't over. Number 5. Endangering Civilians. Man of Steel. I exist. 
only to protect Krypton. We covered the controversial climax of Superman's fight with Zod in Man of Steel in our original list, but the majority of the film proved divisive as well. After Kal-El manages to foil Zod's plans, the Kryptonian general engages Supes in a desperate battle through Metropolis, causing widespread destruction in their wake and endangering, if not outright killing, a huge number of people in the process. <laughs> A lot of viewers felt that Superman should and would have done more to protect the citizens of the city, like trying to lead Zod away or at least minimize the destruction. Number 4. Cloudy with a Chance of Galactus Fantastic Four – Rise of the Silver Surfer It is known by many names. My people called it Galactus. The Fantastic Four films don't have the best track record thus far. And one of the most egregious errors in judgment by the folks behind the scenes was to turn Galactus, the massive, world-devouring conqueror, into a massive, world-devouring cloud. He is here. We get that Galactus may be a little hard to realize on screen, but at the very least they could have made the cloud resemble his face, or given any sort of indication that said cloud is an intelligent one. As it is, the 2007 film took an iconic villain and turned him into a literal cosmic disaster. This is the end for us both. Number 3. Emo Peter – Spider-Man 3 There are a number of aspects from Sam Raimi's third Spider-Man film that were poorly received by fans, from the overabundance of villains to practically everything about Venom. But we'd argue that the most contentious part of the film is the dark turn taken by Peter Parker upon being bonded with the alien symbiote. Your shots are so good. I'd love to shoot you sometime. Peter Parker. Everything about this direction, from the emo haircut and that discount Saturday Night Fever sequence to the awful dance club scene, is sure to make anyone watching cringe. People weren't upset that Peter went dark, just that he went full dork while he was at it. Number 2. Superman Reversing Time – Superman <laughs> Since it's arguably the first major modern superhero movie, this bit of controversy from Superman is more an issue in retrospect than at the time of release, though there are probably some fans who balked even then. During the film's climax, Superman, distraught at Lois Lane's death, flies above the Earth and moves it around so fast that the Earth spins backwards, reversing time and allowing him to save her. First of all, this is something that was invented purely for the film. But more importantly, that's not how time or planetary rotation works. The moment has its fans though, and it's certainly an iconic one. Hi. Don't bother, I think it's dead. Number 1. Save Martha – Batman vs Superman – Dawn of Justice You are never a god. You are never even a man. <sighs> yep. The matchup between the world's two biggest superheroes proved incredibly divisive, and although Batman killing people was also rather contentious, the most controversial moment occurs during the climax of their titular battle. It's when, as Batman is poised to stab him, Superman asks that he save his mother, Martha. You're letting him kill Martha! Coincidentally, Bruce Wayne's mother is also named Martha, causing the Dark Knight to have second thoughts about killing the man, quote, with the power to wipe out the entire human race. Save Martha! While some believed that the moment did a good job of making Batman realize that the two of them are not so different, many felt it was poorly handled and just plain laughable. Why did you say that name? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.